consciousness is awareness plus mind and the structure of the individual brain. Yeah. Consciousness arise. The universe started off as basically quarks and leptons and it quickly became hydrogen. Uh, you know, 13.8 billion years later, that hydrogen became sentient. We're an intelligent species. We think for ourselves, but is it really your mind, your own consciousness? Are your actions really in your control, or are you just another puppet? Watch this video to find out the answers provided by science. Hey folks, welcome back to Conspiracy Theorists, your go-to channel for all the strange, mysterious conspiracy theories. In today's video, we'll see how our consciousness does not exist according to science and the passivity of consciousness. So let's begin. What does the passivity of consciousness mean? It means that our sense of independence or free will may not exist at all. For instance, if you think you are doing something according to your consciousness, this consciousness may not actually exist. This is one of the hypotheses about consciousness that has received a lot of attention in recent years. Where does such a strange hypothesis come from? In fact, this hypothesis existed a long time ago but it faded into obscurity because it's so different from our perception. In recent years, with the development of scientific research, especially in brain science, some experiments have suggested that this hypothesis may be true. Before we introduce these scientific experiments, let us first talk about what consciousness actually is. There are many different ways to interpret how our minds work, but broadly speaking, our mind can be divided into two main parts which are consciousness and subconsciousness. Consciousness is the part that we can perceive, and our subconsciousness is the part that we cannot manipulate or even perceive. Our mind is like an iceberg. The part of consciousness is exposed on top, while the subconscious is under the water. In 1983, an experiment was conducted at the University of California, San Francisco, by a researcher named Benjamin Labette, who is an expert in the field of human consciousness. His research interests are mainly about free will. Normally, we believe that our actions are determined by our thoughts. The experiment was conducted in an attempt to test this belief. It turns out that this is not true. Yeah, you heard me right. The results suggested that our actions are not determined by our thoughts. In this experiment, the head of the human test subjects is connected to electrodes that detect the brain's activity and a motion sensor is connected to the subject's finger. Then, the human test subjects are asked to look at a clock and move their finger whenever they want. Naturally, we expect there is some delay in time between the movements of having the thought and the finger movement because of the time required for signal transmission from the brain. However, the experimental data showed that the finger moved at practically the same time when the thought is generated. This implies the signal that triggers the body movement is already sent before the thought is even generated in consciousness. If the thought of moving is not from the conscious mind, then where does it come from? The current belief is that it's from the subconsciousness, the part of you that you do not control. In other words, all of our actions are actually controlled by the subconsciousness, and the conscious mind just fools itself. To believe that the thought of taking the action is generated consciously. A robot doesn't have a subconsciousness like system. All its actions are controlled by its conscious computer mind. That's why it's always slow. The thought of taking some action needs to be generated first, then the signal is transmitted to the corresponding body part, and finally the action starts. But this is not how humans work according to the results of the experiment. To compensate for the time lag due to the signal transmission, our subconsciousness decides the action first, and when the action takes place, the conscious mind notices that the body is moving and then gives itself the idea that I'm controlling myself to move. Therefore, we feel that our decision and movement are perfectly aligned. To further study the passivity of consciousness, an American psychologist named Michael Gazniga conducted another experiment that involves patients with split brain. In the past, epilepsy was treated by cutting off the connection between the patient's left and right brains. After such split brain surgery, seizure signals can no longer be sent between the split half brains and thereby curing epilepsy. As a consequence, the left and right half bodies of the patients are controlled separately by the respective half brain. 
Left half of the body is controlled by the right brain, and the right half of the body is controlled by the left brain. A lot of Gazzaniga's work is about split brain, and this is one of them. In the experiment, the patients were told to move forward by speaking to their left ears only. When the patients started stepping forward by moving their right legs, they were asked about the reason for moving forward by speaking to their right ears. Gazzaniga and his fellow researchers expected some sense of confusion or awkwardness from the patients because of the lack of signal transmission between the split half brains. In other words, the other half brain did not know about the instruction of moving forward. However, this is not the case in the experimental trials. All patients found a very reasonable excuse for their actions. For example, it may be something like, I move forward to go get something. The half brain that did not receive the instruction fabricated a reason to explain the action. Such results imply that a reason can be created by our consciousness to justify our actions. Therefore, if one's subconsciousness has been brainwashed, the person will always come up with rational reasons to justify the behaviors, no matter how absurd it is. From this point of view, our consciousness does not seem to be very powerful. It simply responds to our body's actions and somehow rationalizes them. Consciousness is not the master of our mind, but a slave. If this is true, then how does subconsciousness work? How does it make all the decisions for us? Unfortunately, we currently do not have any answers supported by scientific research. We cannot even locate subconsciousness in our brains. It does not exist physically. Not a specific part of our brain is found to be responsible for subconsciousness. Nevertheless, theories have been proposed in an attempt to explain how it works. For example, the theory of multiple personalities states that our subconsciousness consists of a group of personalities. This group votes to decide what your body does. It means that there are many individuals living in our minds at the subconscious level and they all have the power to decide our actions. But in the end, it's their joint decision that decides what the body does, and our conscious mind just makes us feel that we make our own decisions. Otherwise, without such a disguise of independent consciousness, we may simply go crazy because of having so many personalities. This theory also fits with our observations of some mental illnesses, such as multiple personality disorder, which is having more than one personality, and they control the person's behavior at different times with no shared memory. Does it remind you of some Disney movie about feelings in our head? As well as many other movies that involve people with multiple personalities. So, according to science, you should never regret your decision, because it's not up to you to decide your actions. We're just puppets to our subconsciousness, which is ultimately not in our hands. That was the video, guys. Do you have any conspiracy theories about the passivity of consciousness or how our mind is being controlled? To know more about this case and other conspiracy theories around it, comment below and let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to regularly receive our content. Thanks for watching.